So now that we're done with the training series, I just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the plans that I had. And I've done a lot of thinking about how to best approach this moving forward, both in a way that aligns with what I'm interested in and what I think would be useful, interesting, and fun for you guys too. If you've been on this channel for a while, then you know that I don't really stay in one place for very long. I tend to learn new skills as I find them necessary, and I use whatever software is most affordable and gives the best results in the shortest amount of time. And I did this knowing full well that YouTube really didn't like that idea. And I actually did consider just being a Blender specific channel for a while. And that definitely would have been best if I was trying to maximize views. But in the end, I decided against it because I always felt like Blender, ZBrush, Maya, Rococo, and all software really are just to process. They're a means to an end. All software is just a tool for me to bring my imagination to life. Making a channel that revolves around a particular software sounds about as ridiculous to me as making a channel about screwdrivers. Like, yeah, you could probably make a successful YouTube channel with tutorials on all the different types of tips, tricks, and screwdriving techniques that people should know about. But the fun part for me was not explaining the intricacies of the art of screwdriving. It's about what you're using the screwdriver for. And that's why up to this point, I've mainly focused on different themes, goals, and skills rather than one particular tool. And for about five years, this strategy worked pretty well for me. But now the YouTube algorithm is really pushing creators to stay within their niche. And ultimately, I actually think that this is a good thing because it maximizes the chances that new subscribers can reliably get more of the same kind of content that they're subscribed for. And so I think this is a good time to start building the channel in a more sustainable long-term direction. Now, when I ask myself long-term, what do I really want to do? What kind of content do I think I would enjoy making for a long time? The answer really is just make cool, beautiful stuff that people can enjoy watching. Stuff like a short badass fight scene, or testing the destruction physics of F-22 missiles bombarding a medieval castle, or just talking about higher level game philosophy, theory, maybe analyzing some of my childhood favorite games, explaining why I think they were good, or what I think could have been improved and why. These are all kinds of things that I think are not only fun for me, but also just easy to enjoy watching if you're just a casual viewer dropping by. And most importantly, these things are the type of content that doesn't become instantly outdated every time a software updates. My problem is, at the moment, there are still just a few things I still don't know how to do in Unreal 5 that would drastically make my videos much more entertaining to watch. Things like having two characters interact with each other, how to set up a third person engine, how to set up a fighting game engine, how to make Make missiles explode and home in on a target, how to connect special effects to animation, or make dynamic camera angles for cool cutscenes, or how to trigger slow motion mid-animation while still having the wind affect the character's hair and clothing. You know, all the cool visual stuff that usually comes at the end of development, but seriously makes a very big difference when it comes to looking amazing. These are all things that I still want to learn how to do, and things that I want to show you guys how to do after I've figured them out. And there's always going to be tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys as I continue to learn new things. If you're on the Patreon, Coffee, or YouTube squad, then you already know that I have quite a few tutorial videos completed that I just haven't published yet because I'm waiting for the right time to do so in a way that doesn't completely screw us over with the algorithm. So here's my plan for now. Because I got a few more commissions this week that will be requiring my attention, I'm going to be releasing the un published tutorials that I have in reserve right now. And next week I'll start creating videos that are a bit more in line with the new direction that I got planned for the future. And starting next month on the 6th, I'm going to start doing some more regular live streams every Saturday evening where you guys will literally be able to just drop by and join in on whatever I happen to be learning or working on at the time. I think the first thing we're going to try and do together is make some Unreal 5 environments that we can use for the backgrounds that will appear in later videos. Now, you guys know I'm not an environment guy, but the sad truth is there's only so cool your characters can look in the basic Unreal 5 demo level. So my goal is to make two two or three simple looking cool backgrounds that we can put our characters in so that the viewers don't have to stare at the same background every video. If any of you guys are Unreal 5 environment guys, then I would super appreciate you dropping by in the 
stream so that maybe you can help point me in the right direction if you see me struggling with, you know, putting grass on a wall or something. So I hope you look forward to that because I already know it's not going to be easy, but we're going to do our best because that's what game developers do. Regardless, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching the show. I'm not expecting this new direction to be very popular and I'm not expecting this to be for everyone, but I think it will be fun. And if you'd like to take part in that journey, then I would be honored to have you on board. Thanks for everything, guys. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. <laughs>